guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And you guys said right, I finally made it to the United States of America. I'm standing here at Washington Square Park, the heart of the NYU campus. And I'm really glad to be here. If you're new to my channel, then hit that subscribe button. I make videos on higher education, taking competitive exams, and getting jobs at top companies all over the world. So hit that subscribe button. And without any further ado, let's dive straight into the video. See you all. June 2 was one of the happiest days of my life. On this day, I got an admit to the prestigious Indian Institute of Management Indore for the MBA program. Being a gem fresher, it was not an easy task to get into IIM Blackie. But I also had another admit at this point. Flashback to March 10 when I received my very first MS admit. And boy oh boy, it was no other than NYU Data Science, one of the top 5 data science programs in the United States. It's an admit. It's an admit. I was ecstatic, thrilled, and exhilarated. Earlier, I had the misconception that software jobs and tech jobs exist only on the west coast around California. But thanks to shows like Suits, I fell in love with New York City and I decided to apply to universities on the east coast around New York. Being in my 20s, I wanted to experience the fast-paced life of the city. CAT exam was a backup plan in case I was unable to go to the USA. To be really honest, due to COVID, everything was uncertain till the moment I boarded my flight. Third wave could hit, Delta Pro Max variant could break out, or something else could go wrong. Considering these things, it was a bold decision that I made, and I told my dad that I wanted to go to the USA instead of pursuing MBA in India. And this is exactly how I felt when he agreed. Thanks to God, I got my visa approved at the Hyderabad consulate without any difficulties. But still, there was one more thing that was worrying me. I just hoped that my flight didn't get cancelled. The United Airlines flight on August 6 had gotten cancelled and a few of my friends had to postpone their travel. Around August 21st, there was Henry Hurricane around New York. I didn't tell my parents about it so that they wouldn't get worried. My tickets were booked from Pune to New York. Fortunately, that flight was on time. I went to the airport, my friends and family came to send me off. It felt amazing to see that so many people cared about me and it was really a very different feeling that I cannot describe in words. I boarded the flight on August 24th around 7 pm IST. The flight took off as per the schedule at 7.30 pm. This was a connecting flight from Pune to Delhi. I was going abroad for the first time. So this was really a memorable experience. On this flight, I was reminiscing all the amazing memories I had created with my friends and families. I also had a light snack on this flight and traveling with Vistara was a pleasant experience. I reached in Delhi at 9.30 pm IST and had a 2 hour layover, but it was just enough time to get all the formalities done so that I could board my very first international flight. At 11.30 pm IST, United Airlines flight from Delhi to Newark took off. I had my dinner on the flight and it was alright. United served rice, paneer curry, dal, salad, moong dal, bread and butter. After this, I watched the movie The Matrix and then slept for like 3 hours. After waking up, they served some light snacks which included moong dal, parleji, a sandwich and beverages. The coffee was shit. Not gonna have tea or coffee on any plane after this. Midway through the flight, I was super bored. My body was in the air 40,000 feet above ground, but my mind was already in New York. I just wanted to get there as soon as possible. To kill time, I decided to watch a movie. But all the English movies in the entertainment system were boring. I wanted to watch some typical Bollywood movie and I found the old classic DDLJ. I find English movies to be boring because they don't have any songs. Being a Desi kid, I love those lively Bollywood songs. Lol. This scene reminded me of the applications process for MS.
Finally, I landed at the EWR Liberty Airport at 4.10 a.m. EST, booked a taxi to my place. The tip that I paid to the cab driver was almost equal to the sum of all the tips that I have paid to all cab drivers in India. LOL. I finally reached my apartment house at 5.30 a.m. EST in the morning. My roommates were all fast asleep. I called them but nobody picked up the phone. Luckily, I had asked for the Wi-Fi password while I was in India. And since Wi-Fi in the USA is way powerful than in India, I could connect to it even when I was outside the house. I thought that I'd have to spend the next couple of hours outside, so I thought of calling my parents, informing them that I had reached safely. Luckily, my roommate came down in like 10 minutes. I kept my luggage, took a shower and settled in. I had a jet lag but due to the excitement, I didn't really feel it. I decided not to sleep during the day and I went out to the city. Just like you are watching this video right now, I had watched a lot of videos of the NYU campus, Washington Park and all other places in the city. Cloud 9 would be an understatement. I was on Cloud 69 the moment I stepped foot inside the magnificent Washington Square Park, which is the heart of the NYU campus. It was an out of the world feeling. I got to experience all the things that I had watched on the YouTube videos. From this personal experience, I would like to say that if you truly want something and work hard towards it, the universe will manifest it for you. Good luck to you if you are preparing to get into your dream college, be it in India or abroad. Feel free to reach out to me if you want any help. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. The motivation behind starting this YouTube channel was to help everyone who wants to get into their dream university or dream role, but is lost and needs some guidance in the journey. If you like this video, then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you all in the next one. Take it easy. Bye-bye.